I just want to go over all the gear we used when we did take Finn on our flight. So the first thing we bought, which I actually had bought for um, a road trip we're taking later this summer with the girls, but it's this basically dog diaper bag. It comes with two of these food bags and they hold, I believe, 15 cups each. And it was great. Like we just took one for Finn, obviously, because we were only gone for like three days anyway. And then it has this removable divider. And 
it can be just like one big open space. So I keep that in there because it separates like I had his food on one side and then I had like his other things on the other side like leash and stuff like that because when he's in his crate I didn't have him on his leash. It has a mesh part here which is where I kept the poop bags. It also has mesh on the back so you can put things in, mesh on the side. This was perfect for like things we needed in security, super easy, like our boarding passes, our IDs. His leash was in there because I made the mistake on the first flight of hooking his leash like on here and it got, when I was walking up the aisle on the airplane, the leash got hooked in an arm of a chair so I was stuck and it was just very embarrassing and annoying so don't make that mistake. Uh, it has a little ID tag so you can put your name, address, city, stuff like that. And then this front part folds out and there's a placemat and two foldable dishes. These were a blessing. We used that for food. We didn't use it for water because he was left alone in the house sometimes and I just he gets excited and crazy and likes to play with random stuff so I didn't want him to chew up my new silicone dog bowl so we just used like a regular human glass bowl and the brand of this is Overland Dog Gear so these just zip up and you can stack them and then that's what the inside looks like with the divider so this was great I also ended up putting my laptop, camera, batteries, all basically my tech gear in here as well and it worked perfectly because I was able to take this on the airplane so it was easily accessible and everything in one. We also use this. We do travel with the dogs at least once a year so we bought this. Um, I love it because it separates. So we used to have the one that is connected and it does like that and you just like squeeze it out that one leaked all the time so I couldn't stand that and then it was not big enough for our dogs plus it like when you push it out if you push too hard the water would come out and I just wasn't at this life so with this we can just put this on the ground fill it up let the dogs go at it like I think two of them can drink out of it at the same time and then we can just go instead of trying to like hold the one like that that leaks all the time and this one doesn't leak and dishwasher safe as is the silicone bowls and stuff like that next is his carrier so the carrier we got is Sherpa it was quite expensive it was like over a hundred dollars um but totally worth it this is the large size it has a nice little pad that you can detach for washing we haven't done that yet and it just slides in there. The only negative I would say about this is there's not a whole lot of opening. So you have your front entrance and there's no door here, which I wish there was because he doesn't love this. He has no issue going in a crate, but what we came to realize is he's never been in a crate this small or this dark. So he did not like going in it, but once he was in, he was totally fine. But I feel like if there was... A door here we could have helped train him by having him just like walk through it so he got used to that and way more comfortable versus having to train him to walk in and turn around all at the same time and then it has like a short strap with a buckle and then at the top here it unzips which was great because when we were trying to train him to go in we could open this and he could come in and lift his head up so it was more open but I wish there was another layer of like mesh so that we could have opened this so it wasn't so dark but had mesh so like on the airplane or something he could at least look up and see us more easily I mean he probably didn't care he was totally fine once he was in it and he literally just slept the whole time but would have been nice for my peace of mind but it's great it, like he seems super comfortable um it has another like it has a shoulder strap it held up very well it looks good and i believe 
uh, Sherpa. I'm not sure if they do it in the in Canada, but I believe in the States, if you don't, if you're not allowed on the plane with this, with one of their carriers, they will refund you the cost of your ticket. I'm pretty sure that's what their policy is, which is super amazing. I think this is a few inches shorter than the maximum is allowed on the airplane that we were on. We flew Air Canada. Uh, it's an half an inch to an inch taller than what their maximum is, but we had no issues. And Finn's a really small Frenchie anyway. He's only 20 pounds and their max with the carrier is 22 pounds. But I know Frenchies that have flown and they're like 28, 30 pounds. So. so now some tips for traveling with your dog on an airplane. Don't feed them before your flight, especially if it's an early morning flight because it may upset their tummy, all the turbulence and motion and just nerves so they may get sick. You do need to take your dog out of the carrier when you go through security, so we just had him in our arms, especially where he didn't like going into this. Instead of having him go into it, then take him out, then go in again, like potentially like three, four times before we even boarded our plane, we just took him out, carried him through security, and then he was with us at the gate and when like probably 15 minutes before we board it we would put him in the carrier so that he could like calm down and get used to it what we did we had two flights on the way to newfoundland so we had a little bit of a layover so we had to go out of security let him out do his thing that was totally fine we did give him food and water then um and then we walked him around again so he could relieve himself and then we went right back into security get them used to the carrier beforehand Finn it was a rash it was a rash decision that we took him to Newfoundland so thankfully he is crate trained in plastic crates wire crates so although he didn't like going in this he was very quickly like this is fine it's not going to hurt me or anything like that so he quickly calmed himself down versus a dog who has never ever been crated would probably freak out in this and you don't want that on a flight because they don't know what's going on and you can't do anything when you're 20,000 feet in the air so you're not allowed to take them out or anything to comfort them which honestly would make it worse anyway so just be aware of that try to get them used to it beforehand we will be working with Finn to make sure that he is much better going in the crate because right now it takes two people and we just want him to just be able to like we just want to be able to say go crate and he goes into that crate and then we can zip it up and go on the flight so it's it just makes it less stressful for everyone if they are trained and used to it so this completes this video of our Frenchie's first flight if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button thank you bye